And my name is Paul Friedman. I'm an independent filmmaker from Los Angeles, California. I'm here in Houston, Texas for the RISE 23 Film Festival, which is connected to the NADCP conference, which is the National Association of Drug Court Professionals. Um, they have a big convention every year. Uh, uh, providers and participants from all over the country come to talk about drug treatment courts for veterans, for uh, uh, all different types of folks who need, uh, need help. Uh, we uh, have just completed a film called The Dirty Divide, which is a look at the houseless problem in Los Angeles through the lens of Skid Row. So Pete White, one of the producers and uh, participant in the film, and uh, Stephanie Arnold Williams, who's also featured in the film, uh, we all came to, we were all invited to the festival and are here to screen it tomorrow for uh, potentially 300 people. Uh, the film takes an intimate look at the lives of six unhoused residents of Skid Row. Uh, uh, we, I spent years down there uh, talking to folks. Uh, I also take a hard look at what the city has been doing, or rather hasn't been doing, to mitigate this incredible a human rights tragedy that's been playing out on the streets of LA for decades. Um, while it's not strictly uh, limited to Los Angeles, uh, the houseless problem in the country seems to have overwhelmed city governments everywhere. Um, we hope that this film becomes a uh, organizing tool and a tool that communities can use to uh, relax the residents and begin to have a conversation. Um, it is a jumping off point to getting people to talk about this, which is what's really needed, because most communities, the only thing they know how to do is to send law enforcement after folks who are um, uh, living at the, you know, the end of their tether. So we hope that this film will um, be informative, it will be compelling and moving, uh, it will bring you face to face with people, not ghosts or shadows that uh, live under bridges and behind tarps, but with people who uh, have hopes and dreams and incredible creative talents um, uh, and are vital parts of our community. Uh, the film's not yet in release. Uh, we hope to get some sort of a broad release in the next few months. In the meantime, we're playing at festivals. Uh, we've already played at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. We are also at the DocuWorld Film Festival in London, England. Uh, tomorrow we'll be here at the Rise 23 Festival here in Houston, uh, and uh, hopefully several more. Um, I suppose the, my, my hope and dream or call to action, if I could put something up at the end of the film, would be that, um, uh, like me, I would hope that anybody that sees this film, and if you're just driving in your car and driving past a homeless encampment, if you just understand that the folks who are living back there are not ghosts, they're not shadows, that they're people with hopes and dreams who, like me, are probably sitting behind a kitchen table having dinner with their family just a few years ago. And now circumstances have landed them in a, in a place that is beyond their, uh, beyond their control. So um, I would hope that people would begin to take a different look at the houseless issue and uh, begin to treat our neighbors as, uh, as God would have wished that we all treat each other. Mm -hmm.